All right, Brady Oak is with us against San Diego State. Believe it or not, we're going to have San Diego State football before before we know it. And Brady Hoke is with us right now. C- Coach, I'm going to scare you off the top. I mean, not like scare you like there's a ghost behind you. Ah. Yeah, not like that. Okay. Um, and it's great to catch up. It's been a couple of weeks, obviously. And we yeah. hope you're doing well. But yeah. did you realize you're 107 days out from your opener? Does that does that scare you or get you excited? Or what do you think when you hear that? I think it does both. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it uh, pushes you to make sure you're executing your plan and all that. And uh, uh, I think also, you know, it's like, damn, we, 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 uh, uh, where, where'd the days go? And so with things on the Mesa, you know, with graduation coming and all that kind of stuff, our guys are uh, got some time to go home and then come back here and, and really dig into what we need to for the uh, – uh, you know, the summer and then getting ready for Ohio U. All right. So Brady Hoke is with us right now, San Diego State's football coach. And Brady, I, I just feel like there's so much change, obviously, in college football. We're going to get into all of it. But specifically now, y- your coaches are out recruiting. What What's going on right now? Is the recruiting process have to do a lot with the portal? Does it have to do with future prep players? coming in what are your coaches doing right now specifically on the recruiting trail and how could it impact your team in 2023 yeah well obviously uh the landscape of college football is obviously different uh, uh the portal and the nil being activated at the same time i think uh wasn't the best decision by whoever makes those decisions but uh it's something that our guys are on the road they're working hard, uh, um, obviously, to, to find the needs that we have. Um, I think uh, the portal itself, you know, is where everybody's kind of starting. And this is one thing, John, I hate for high schools and high school players because everybody uh, seems to go to the portal first. And so high school coaches and high school football players, I don't think this is a good deal, but uh, we're going to – play the hand we're dealt and we're going to work at it. And, you know, we're trying to get Aztec link uh, uh, as uh, part of the collective because we do need to uh, uh, mess around with the NIL uh, and uh, have some options. So Aztec nation out there, Aztec link is something that uh, is going to help our program. And uh, that's, uh, it's, it's going to be who we are as far as, uh, college football. And that's a good segue to my next question, Brady. Is how critical is NIL when it comes to trying to add players from the portal? Well, I, I think it's really important. And, um, you know, uh, Jim, the, the other thing for me is I, I want to reward guys. You know, mm-hmm. we've had some guys who have been here three years, four years, who have busted their ass and uh, have worked awfully hard, have played well for us. I want to have the opportunity to, to you, you know, uh, those guys who have been through it and, and our Aztecs and understand the toughness and everything that, that uh, Adam Hall does with them and how we coach and, and all those kind of things. So, uh, you, you know, there's a balancing act, Jim, somewhere there. And, and you know, I, I, I'm uh, probably not a great balancer, but <laughs> I, I really want to, uh, you know, take care of the guys who love San Diego State and the guys who are committed to San Diego State. Brady Hoke is with us right now. And, Coach, for our listeners, to follow up, is I think a number of our listeners, because we heard it through the basketball season, which just ended, you kept hearing about the Mesa Foundation and the role it's playing for men's and women's basketball. And for our listeners, that's what Aztec Link has the potential to do for San Diego State football, right? Yes, yeah. And, and, you know, and Dutch and I have talked about – this uh, a lot lately, obviously, but, uh, um, you know, and, and for football, it's different. I mean, we, we've, you know, we got 110 guys on our football team and uh, it, it's just different, you know, and like Dutch said, you know, we got 10 guys or nine guys, you know, and so from, from that standpoint, it's different. And, and uh, it's uh, something though that's, it, it, and we can't change it. And, and, Believe me, uh, I don't like it. I'll be very honest with you, but it is uh, what we're going to be and what college football is and college athletics. 
you know, because there's still a component there when you talk about Title IX. And, and so uh, it's uh, something that, you know, we have to do in, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, the Aztec Nation's got to be a big part of it. And, Brady, what are some ways that Aztecs fans and the Aztec Nation can help if they want to support the NIL efforts? Yeah, well, if they'll go to uh, uh, Aztec Link, uh, and, and J.R. Tolver has been a guy who's really been busting his butt for us and uh, being a big part of it. But uh, go to that link, and it will kind of direct you into the different uh, things. You know, the, the collective itself. And then there's going to be some things uh, that uh, we're getting ready to implement from a, a subscription standpoint, you know, uh, $50 a month for some access and for, for those kind of things for, you know, our, our players and also for the fans. All right, very cool. Check it out, AztecLink.com. That is the world we're living in right now. In college athletics, and just speaking of the portal in general, Brady, Brady Hoke is with us right now, San Diego State's football coach on John and Jim. What do you make of the spring window, right? You've gone through spring football, but now the portal reopens. How does that impact your ability to coach, and what impact does that have on the college football landscape? Yeah, I I think two two things, I think. I I think, one, it is a – it's – important that it did open up at the end of spring and really, you know, to um, fairly treat every football team because of when their spring balls finish and all that stuff, you know, it has to be open for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, I'm glad it's over right now. Right. Let's put it that way. Uh, uh, The the one thing that we're, 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 into though is, and they started this a couple years ago, our official visits uh, uh, in the month of uh, May. And so, uh, you know, that part of it, and then in the month of June. So the rules have changed a lot, but I I think, you know, everybody got through spring, you had your evaluation meetings, talked to the guys, Um, some of them, obviously, if they're not um, happy, for one reason or another, they're going to go take the portal and try and find some uh, a new home. And at the same time, you know, uh, we, we have talked to guys and, uh, you know, let them know that, you know, maybe they should look in the portal. So it, it works both ways. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, I don't like it. I'm going to say it again, but it is what it is. We benefited with uh, Caden. Uh, 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 Cooper McDonald with uh, Justice Tavai, you know, uh, was a big help. Mark Redman, a big help for everything that he, he's done to this point and uh, uh, really had a good spring. So, y- you know, th- those things were uh, positive. And, and so I, I don't like to complain too much. <laughs> but, it, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you'll be that lucky every year. Why do I have a feeling that – if NIL was around when you were a player, you would have asked for like pizza or something. You you wouldn't have been the guy holding out for you know a million dollars is my guess. I would ask for Labatt's Blue. <laughs> love it, love it, uh, Brady. Getting back to the actual team on the field so far this year and spring, you know how has Jalen Maiden looked leading the offense this year? Well, I think he had a good spring. I don't like how he finished, you know, in the spring game, but. Uh, he, he really, uh, I, I think, absorbed a little bit more with Ryan from an offensive standpoint, a quarterback standpoint, really thought he executed much better, um, really excited about what he will bring even more to, you know, with some of uh, uh, the ability with quarterback runs. Uh, uh, we didn't do a whole lot last year, kind of stayed away from it, but that will be a little bit more that will give him a little bit more, um, you know, exclusiveness and execution. Speaking of the 2023 team and and the portal as well, what are the areas you're looking at? I mean, you're through spring yeah. football. Where are the areas you, you think you can, can get better and need to get better heading into the season? Yeah, I, well, I think our offensive line is, is still young. I mean, it's a young group when you look at it. Obviously, Josh decided to 
uh, move on. But uh, so that that's one, uh, and I think we're doing a pretty good job there. Uh, when, and you know, we still got guys coming in and all that stuff, like the the character and the caliber of who who we're looking at there. So that that would be one. Uh, we're we're, we're going to have a, a couple tight ends that we're excited about, a couple wide receivers, and then uh, from a defensive perspective, we have a safety who is uh, uh, coming, and and then uh, um, we uh, got a, maybe a, a, a guy up front. Even though I like what we recruited so far up front, so it's. Uh, it's more offensively generated than defense. Brady, you know, you've had made a lot of changes to your coaching staff this off season. One in particular, Ryan Lindley. How has he been in, now in the fold and how is the rest of the coaching staff doing, especially with all the, the new hires? Yeah, I think it's been really uh, good, Jim. I think, uh, you know, Ryan, number one, you know, I love him. He's uh, obviously played quarterback here for two years for us. Uh, when we were here before, and, you know, his competitive spirit, his knowledge uh, has just been really, really something that I think all the kids have taken advantage of. Uh, really, he's done a great job with the offense. Uh, I'm excited about uh, what he brings overall. And, uh, you know, with Kurt running the defense and him running the offense, I, I – I'm very excited about where we'll be. Brady, a couple of more before you go. What do you make of this schedule? Ohio, UCLA, Oregon State, what you get in conference. Uh, what do you make of, of the challenge ahead? Well, I, I think, you know, obviously uh, I, I never complain about a schedule. I mean, that's uh, – I don't believe in that. They make the schedules. You play the schedule. You, you educate your, your football team, and uh, sometimes when you don't, like it, you kind of use it to your advantage mm -hmm. that you don't like it. But, uh, you know, I think you, the uh, uh, schedule itself, you know, we're going to start off with OU and uh, the Mid-American Conference, which I'm very proud of because that's where I played. They're a good football team, and uh, uh, they'll, they'll be well prepared and, and ready to go. Uh, playing UCLA here in Snapdragon is going to be awesome. Yep. Uh, and be a lot of fun for everybody. And, and then uh, uh, going up to, to Corvallis, you know, I, I coached there from uh, 1989 to 94 uh, uh, up at Oregon State, and that's, uh, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. They've done a lot of good things when you look at uh, from the uh, standpoint of, of the stadium and all that. And I think Jonathan Smith's done a really good job yeah. uh, up there. And so – uh, you know, we're going to be young early, but uh, we will mature through what we're going to play. And then, Coach, a final question. It's from a listener, but it's a general question. Are you a uniform guy? Because the listener question is, will San Diego State go with all white away uniforms at some point? Are you a, are you a uniform guy? Do you care at all about that <laughs> stuff or not? Uh Yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> so you don't even you don't weigh in on I, that? I never cared as a player. I just wanted to play. Right. That's all I want to do is go out, prepare, and go out and play. And, uh, you know, we went through this at Michigan. <laughs> I mean, it, it, and um, no, we're not going all white. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, always appreciate it. Um, 107 days for San Diego yeah, State. I appreciate it. And uh, Aztec Nation, uh, you know, uh, AztecLink.com. All right, check it out. Again, a good way to support San Diego State's football efforts right now via, again, everything going on with collectives and name, image, and likeness. Check out AztecLink.com. Brady, thank you. We'll do it again later this summer, all right? Sounds great, guys. Thank you so much.